I also want to touch on this story where in the UK, the BBC is refusing to call Hamas a terrorist organisation. Now, Talk TV heard from a BBC reporter who actually quit over the scandal. Have a listen. Um, but you have decided because of the actions of the, the uh, or inaction, I suppose, of the organisation more generally, not to call Hamas terrorists, that t the time has come for you to go. Is that correct? Uh, that is correct. I have morals and, and I stick by them. Uh, I think the words justified and unjustified have been thrown around a lot since the weekend. Uh, and I think the BBC's refusal to use the correct terminology is unjustified. Uh, words are quite literally fundamental to the English language. They impact how we think, how we react, how we act. They have influence. Uh, the phrase freedom fighter distracts from the reality of terrorism. To those easily influenced, it, it implies what is not. These people aren't freedom fighters. They are not as John Simpson refers to them as gunmen. They are terrorists. And there are probably people watching who will be thinking, this boy, my God, has thrown it all away because of some words. But terminology, words, when neglected, have the power to fuel hate. They have the power to put fuel on the fire. Now, Caleb, I think it's worth pointing out that the British government designates Hamas as a mm. terrorist group. The Australian government designates them as a terrorist group. Who are these journalists at the BBC that think they can they can supersede that designation mm. and, and just call them freedom fighters? Well, well it's irresponsible because it helps stoke this anti-Semitic underbelly that we have seen very clearly in this country this week. But what is behind all of this is a kind of Western self-loathing because, of course, uh, uh, Jews represent Israel and Israel represents the oppression of people in the Middle East to these people. Uh, and so they hate anything that represents the power of the West and Israel is a part of that. And, and so in a perverse kind of way, they feel that if they lend support to Hamas or they lend support to Palestine, which of course is just code for anti-Semitism, it will help decrease the power of the West. The, the irony of that is that most of these people who carry on about it, and, and you saw during the week people brandishing signs saying uh, queers for Palestine, would not last five minutes under Hamas rule. It's this kind of disgusting self-loathing that would not only cost them their lives, but the lives of most people in the West. I mean, we are the infidels, right? It's not just the Jews they've got beef with Hamas. They've got beef with anyone who's not a Muslim. So to think that by appeasing them or, or, or working for their cause in any way is good for the world is utterly wrong and it help whips up exactly the scenes we saw in front of the Opera House this week. It's just supremely irresponsible and unsafe.